What's up guys, Vibe and Jivin back with another video. Today I'm going to be telling you the story of how I completely ruined an astronomy observation session. For those of you that don't know me, I used to major in astrophysics back in college and I was hired to work at the telescopes and do research with the professors. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Before we hop into it, please consider using code Jivin TV in the Fortnite item shop or at least make sure you're using somebody's code because it helps us out a ton. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So at my school, Butler University, we had a huge telescope on campus. It was pretty dope because we would have our classes right underneath the telescope. It was at the top of the building and we would have a little classroom at the bottom and we would like take tours up to the top. There's also a planetarium in the observatory, which was sick because sometimes we'd have our classes in the planetarium and there'd be like a show we would watch. It was dope. But yeah, in my second year, I got hired to work at the telescope. Sometimes I'd be doing observations through the main telescope on our campus, but the professors there actually owned rights to a telescope all the way in the Canary Islands. So there was like a business room in the middle of the science building, and it had four TV screens up on the wall, and then like 10 computers all around the room, and we were the only ones that were allowed to go in there. It was like our own little research facility, and dude, it was like the nicest room on campus. So basically, I would be doing observations in that room from the start of the night, like 8 p.m. all the way until like 6 in the morning, dude. It was crazy. But my only job while doing that was to make sure that the telescope all the way in the Canary Islands was functioning right. And so in the meantime, we could watch movies or do whatever we want. So every single day, I would just bring my PS4 over there and play Fortnite on those four huge TV screens up on the wall. So that was pretty dope. That was back in the day before I think even Arena existed. So I would just be playing pubs and trying to get as many wins as possible. At the time, I think I was ranked like 30th on the solo win leaderboard or something something like that. So we were sweating up in there. But there was this one research session where my professor said that there was this star that only showed itself every now and then and we had to observe it that night because it was the only night that week that had good weather and it was one of the only times we'd be able to observe the star. And so I was like, all right, let's do it. But in the middle of the night, apparently the telescope stopped working and I didn't even notice because I was grinding Fortnite. And so like two out of the eight hours that I was supposed to be observing it were just not even collecting data. And eventually I noticed and I told my professor and he was like, oh, okay. I think he was mad, but he didn't show it to me. I just played the whole beginner card, you know, I hadn't been doing it very long, learning experience. But that's not even the craziest story. There was another time where this same professor hosted like a thing with one of his classes, like a beginner astronomy class, where they could come and observe with me for extra credit. And so there were like eight kids in the room with me and we were all having a sleepover. And we were just doing the same thing, you know, observing a star. And there was like nothing to do, bro. It's not like it's an exciting thing. So I just had eight people up in the room. And all we had to do was peek at the star like every 30 minutes to make sure the telescope was working. And so we had nothing to do. So I brought my PS4 again. And we just all played games throughout the whole night and watched movies and stuff. And those kids would like sneak out of the room to go drink and stuff. It was probably not what the professor was expecting for extra credit. But I don't know what he was thinking. It's not like a very exciting thing thing doing the observations. I don't know why he told them to go in there. But yeah, we just kind of partied through the night and watched movies and stuff. It was pretty fun. That's pretty much what college astronomy research is like. Just chilling in a room doing nothing for eight hours straight all through the night and then having no sleep for the next day. There was some actual research that we had to do afterwards. We would collect all the data from the research of the night and we had to like fix the images because I don't know if you know this, but telescopes, you know, they look up through the atmosphere at the star and the atmosphere blurs out the images a lot. So you have to do a bunch of processing of the images to get rid of the atmosphere and make the images as solid as possible so that you can actually gain data from it. I'm pretty sure we were trying to figure out if like planets were in that solar system with the stars and what those planets were made of, if there were any Earth-like planets and stuff like that. But honestly, I don't really remember. I ended up dropping out of the astrophysics program like two years in, but I really did enjoy it while I was there. The reason I dropped out was because I didn't feel like astrophysics was much of a future career for me because I didn't really enjoy doing all that extra stuff that I did in the research. I enjoyed learning about the concepts like learning about black holes, learning about how to know if a star has 
Earth-like planets, stuff like that, you know? I thought that was so cool, but the actual jobs within astronomy were not what I was expecting. I wanted to work for SpaceX for a while or become like an astronaut, which is crazy, but I went to talk to my professor and he said, you don't want to work for NASA, you don't want to work for SpaceX simply because you work all day long, you don't have very much free time, and you're just taking orders the whole time. And I was like, all right, so what are my other options? And he told me you could be a banker, basically anything in the math field, or you could be a researcher like I am at a college, but you'd have to go get your PhD and you'd have to be a full-time teacher as well. And I was like, bro, I don't wanna do any of that stuff. I didn't wanna be in school for another eight years. I didn't wanna be a teacher. I was just like, this is beat. And so I did more research on my own and I realized I didn't wanna be in astrophysics anymore. So I switched to game design, I switched schools, I switched up my entire life. And while I was doing that, I was just making YouTube videos all the time. It's all I really cared about. And so while game design was pretty dope, I realized I didn't want to do it. And I was learning a lot of stuff that I already knew in my editing classes, graphic design classes. And my professor said that basically in game design and video editing, you get jobs based on your portfolio. So I realized I could use my YouTube channel as a portfolio to get jobs in the future. So basically, if I grew my YouTube channel, I could use that to get jobs in video editing in the future, maybe even social media marketing, and maybe even graphic design. So all in all, it made sense for me to just drop out of school for the time being, and I could always go back if I felt I needed to. I was at the beginning of a new study, so dropping out of school is not like I wasted any money or any time. It was the best choice for me. From this story, one piece of advice I have for you is really try to figure out what you want to do as early as possible. I spent two years and went around $30,000, $40,000 in debt from studying astrophysics, all for basically nothing. The way I recommend just trying to figure out what you want to do in life is trying out as many things as possible and really doing research. For example, if you're going into college and you're really interested in what you're studying, like I was super interested in astronomy, research exactly what you want to do after the fact and what you have to do to get there. For example, I wanted to do research, but I had to be a professor, I had to get a PhD, I didn't want to do any of that stuff. Also trying out just as many hobbies as you can because hobbies can oftentimes turn into careers one day if you really, really want it and you work super hard. The sooner the better because life is short and the earlier you figure it out, the longer you'll be able to do the stuff you love. I wish I would have realized in high school that I still wanted to be a YouTuber. Back in middle school, I wanted to be a YouTuber so bad, but throughout high school, I just kind of played around the entire time, which I don't really regret, it was fun. But at the same time, nowadays, I wish I would have been doing YouTube earlier because I might have been able to start my YouTube career when I was like 18 instead of 20. All in all, just experiment around in life, try to figure out what you truly love and research the actual career possibilities within that. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, sub if you're new, use code JIVENTV in the item shop, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.